I think atheists get married because they want a tax break. I don't see the point <clears throat> of an atheist getting married. Why don't you just break? live with your partner, okay? Wh whatever it is that you're dating, you're at the stage you said, I don't know if you live with your boyfriend or whatever it is, why take the next leap? If you're wearing crosses for fun and, you know, well, it I mean, seems if like you're, you're actually you're, asking yeah. the question, mm -hmm. I mean, because then I would just be pledging the fact that I would want to be with them forever. But I don't you, can, really... you can just be with them forever. So why, what is it right. that you but crave that when you, when you want to get married, what's that next step for you? What does it mean? What's the difference between dating and marriage? Because it's a commitment. Is dating not a commitment? It's a commitment, but it's saying a but next in step. The, in, it's within, solidifying it. Okay, solidifying what? Because if solidifying you're, if a you, bond between two people that love each other. Okay, but you, well, what is solidified? If you can then jump into that next commitment, which is the exact same as dating, and you can sleep with other people, and you can put topless photos on the internet, what are you getting married for? Pictures. Ooh. Mm. Bars. Mm. So Candace Owens. Um, it's, it's, for some people, I think Candace Owens is like that clock that's right. You know, broke. <laughs> broken, broken <laughs> clock that's right. Twice <laughs> so I think that's what people feel about her. If you don't, if you're that's not fair. a conservative, she's right sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I think I think okay. So if you don't know Candace Owens, um, she she kind of made it big during the um, Trump election 2016, being like you know the black conservatives Trump yeah. supporter. So I think my my issues with her are mostly on the politics side, but I don't I don't necessarily disagree with everything she says. She's a little like she's gonna be a little rough. Yeah, I think. she's aggressive, but yeah. she, I mean, I don't mean she's necessarily wrong. But I don't I don't I don't disagree with what she's saying here necessarily. So yeah, yeah. let's break it down because I've had a lot of very interesting conversation with atheists over the last couple of weeks. Oh yeah, I, we, we I, popping I in these streets because of Sean. <laughs> Absolutely enjoy it. Um, it's 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 a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at our YouTube channel. And look for the one, I think it's called Atheist, um, something about Atheist Copying Christianity. Um, go watch that because there's there's like 150 comments in there. Do hey. atheists just wait to somebody put something out and go, they're evangelists. Bzzz. That was my whole point in the video. They're proving my point <laughs> by responding uh, to me in the comments. Yeah, Basically, yeah. my point in the whole video was atheists. Um, they can't escape God. Even when they try to run away from God, they end up emulating God. They yeah. create, they create mm. uh, denominations. They yeah. have, they have prophets that they yeah. look up to. They, they kind of emulate yeah, yeah, yeah. the church in a way. Yeah. Um, so we put that clip out, and they flooded it. And I've been having a ton of conversations. So if you want to do like real ministry, ministry, <laughs> go to the comments on our video <laughs> and weigh in because I would oh, say snap. some of them are just scoffers, like they there's no chance. But some of them are, I would say, are open to reasonable yeah. Christians. Some are robots and some are humans. <laughs> I, even fair. even That's the fair. robots, they're, they're not robots in the sense they're AI, but they're robots in the sense that they've already decided and oh, yeah, their, their yeah, mission yeah. is just to yeah, make Christians thinking. look bad. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. A, anyway. So I'm, I'm assuming they're going to show up here, so just be prepared for that. So atheists <laughs> shouldn't get married. Do you understand, do you agree with her point that marriage is made for Christians? Why would an atheist care about marriage when they don't value mm. the institution of marriage? Mm. Is, that, is, that, is that a right thing to think? No. You don't think I, so? I don't think so, because I think at the end of the day, marriage is a beautiful thing. Um, I think... Um, Marriage is a place where a man and a woman, um, if we're going by biblical standpoint, yeah. um, that if they love each other, they should. They want to start a family. They want to do the right things. I think. I think for atheists, I think I've heard atheists say um, um, they've done stuff. They still have morals without the Bible. Yeah, but that's that's their whole claim to fame. Yeah. Is they're, they're trying to say you don't need God for morals. Yeah, so that's a for, whole long, but, that's a whole but, long but, debate. Besides that, but talking about marriage in itself, I think two people that if they got family, if they want to, they want they want the the same. I think honestly, to be honest with you, besides what the picture of Jesus shows with marriage, I think that's part of the American dream. Honestly, the wife, the house, the yeah. picket fence. I feel like that's just part just, of everything. I, you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like. I mean, I'm not married, so I can't speak from a from a place of being married. But I do feel like having those morals and those values comes from a biblical background um so i don't necessarily think candace is right or wrong but i do think she has a point when she says like what's the point of yeah. getting married <clears throat> if you don't believe that marriage is a unity like yeah. and it's and it's you know a ministry and it's worship unto god like if you're yeah. just doing it to do it then what's kind of the and you, What's I think, point? I think you do have to see the entire clip because she's responding to a group, group yeah. of women, right? Yeah, that and are are that are I, o, OF models. Yeah. So, the, so oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the point is, why would you want to get married 
if you treat marriage like dating. You could leave your marriage whenever oh, you feel right. like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if she coming from that perspective, then that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she would the the if she was coming from that perspective, like you're getting married to you know just getting in and out of a marriage and right, right, right. you don't like just it, it yeah, 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 then yeah, yeah. you're wasting time. But it's but it's deeper than that. As an atheist, remember the atheist framework is you don't believe there's a god. Yeah. Right. So there's what is the point of Standing up in front of a priest or however you do it and say, right. I promise to be committed to you for the why would you even want to yeah, do well, that? Yeah, yeah, because you don't believe in commitment. You, you don't, don't believe, believe in a higher power right, to yeah. commit to. You don't believe in any moral law. Covenant or anything. Like, yeah, yeah. What is the point? Well, I think you, you still stay? believe in love and you still like the institution of but marriage. But do you know right? what love is why? since you don't know Christ? Why like, would you like that if your mentality is there are no <clears throat> governing laws, givers, Right. So it's just whatever you Ooh, yeah, feel like yeah. doing. Why wouldn't you just say we're together? Right. Because I'm, because in essence, it's something in that man or that woman that's going to be like, what What are we doing? Like if so. And, okay. and then from a kind of like what she said, tax break it from, from that perspective. It's still of if something was to happen to that person, you may not be able to get nothing. There's legal. There's yeah, legal. Legalism. There. So okay. it's so, it's still some stuff that. So you think there's perks to it that it's aren't It's still biblical. perks that, regardless okay. if you ain't saved or not, you should could still get married. That's what I'm saying. Of course, yeah. Okay. So there's there's legal and emotional benefits to marriage, which makes sense because the person who made them made marriage, right? Yeah. So you yeah. In, right, yeah, yeah, innately yeah. desire what God wants, even if you hate God, right? Right. So <laughs> that that's or don't know Him or don't yeah, know Him, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, but we're saying atheists, so maybe hate. Yeah, they probably they probably <laughs> so don't like hate. hate or disbelief, right? Yeah. So, um, so I, I think her point makes sense, right? Like, now, why, why do you want this? Now, what Bars and Beach just said that makes sense. Virgin what, what? atheists. Ha! Huh. What? What is? What are you talking about? That. Meaning like virgin atheists. Meaning like, why are you? Why a are you a virgin? Why are you a virgin? Because it, it is it by circumstance? Like they just haven't met anybody okay, I've or heard, I've are they heard choosing this. to i've heard this okay so there's a couple reasons why i've seen people say they don't believe in god but they're atheists either because the same kind of thing christians might say i'm waiting for the right one yeah. that type of thing or um you know i'm scared to catch something yeah disease that's yeah. right or something they may be virgins but something happened to them when they were young and there there's some aversion to oh, it right? okay. so there's other reasons why people might stay a virgin but i think it's i think it's in the same realm of questioning like why would any of this matter to you without god like wh- what is the point what's the point of holding to any of these virtues without god do you think people can not create their own virtues but like can people inherently have some desire to do right or wrong regardless yes. of if they believe because the person that made them yeah. wrote it on their heart that's the whole so, but maybe even if they don't <laughs> they don't believe in christ right yeah. like they're still like i should do this or i shouldn't do this and yeah. so maybe having that desire to be married is I part think, of that i think inherent. because people still believe i can still be moral without god without god exactly. yeah, yeah so yeah, if yeah. i can still be moral without god i can still want to have a wife i could still yeah. want to have a husband or i could still want to wait to marriage and to yeah. to because yeah. I, I i also have goals in my life that if i'm if if i get in a relationship with somebody and we have sex that may could take me away from my goal There's so it's still but it's still you right. focus it's not about God. it's not christ-centered yeah, 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 yeah it's still about you and what you okay. want and and your but, life but here's here's why saying bragging about being more moral or being able to be moral without God doesn't make any sense is because who decides what's right and wrong right so like mm. is what hitler did wrong oh that's actually well i think i think i think i think <laughs> i think morals come from i don't know i can't speak for them i know morals come from the word of god but right. for them morals probably come from they feel like it's evolution evolution or laws of the land but here's here's where that's you get the, what I'm saying. But here's where that doesn't make any sense, right? So, if if there is no lawgiver, there's no judge, ultimate judge of right and wrong, then what Hitler did is not ultimately wrong. So it's is just, it just it's circumstantial, just, or it's just it's just distasteful to you. We but not it's not platform wrong. You, you're not helping us. No, but what? I'm, <laughs> but that's. I'm saying that this is what they're saying and not realizing it. So you're asking There's, who determines yeah, right. But and I, wrong. Think, only, I think I think the only reason you think it's wrong is because there is a person who decided what's of right. Of course, but what what I'm saying from their perspective, uh, okay, they may okay. say you still want to. It's still like 
it's still like those rules in elementary school when you was a kid and the teacher wrote on it on a board um don't hit nobody yeah, like yeah. those rules yeah. that being kind to people love people but why um, are those things good because that's what a good person is. What does that mean? Yeah, what is who, good who determines no good? I think that's what he's saying. Person, I, I guess stuff. what I, I guess based off how you treat people. Yeah, yeah. But from what? their, I don't, Sean. I'm not an but, atheist. But I that, don't know. But that's, but, <laughs> you don't have to help them. <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm trying to. I, we 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 I like, we don't go in circles. <laughs> no, no, I just no, want but, to make sure. So, yeah, so, like, who determines the scale? For good versus bad in, and the like, a- in the atheist world, there is no there such is thing no as good, there's right? no higher power to I think determine. They that. I think they know. I think an atheist can say I'm a good person without God. But that doesn't make any sense as an atheist. What is good? Because if I think what you're doing is bad and you think it's good, there's no moral. Who decides? Yeah. Well, what I'm, but what I'm saying to you is, I don't think every atheist is doing immoral stuff. It's some atheist that's just like. They right. go to work every day. But, they have a family. What I'm asking they, that they they, they what, teach their families like on some love your neighbor type stuff. Okay. Yeah. Talk to okay. people. Yeah, be yeah. nice to people. They're not actually don't hurt nobody. Sinning, yeah. Right. Not. But what I'm saying is to that person who's doing those things, okay. what makes any of those things good? <sighs> because I'm a human being and I want to do good for people. Why? What is? What is? Why just is that I'm, good? And just that my human that? nature. Okay, where did that human nature come from? Uh, why why are you programmed to do that instead of something else? I mean, the Bible says the heart's deceitful. So, like, yeah. I mean, I think at, at some point, in order to determine good from bad, you've got to have a higher power, regardless of if a person's Buddhist or whatever it is, like, they've got to have some type of compass. So, I think as being an atheist, you don't have a compass. But you don't I, have a, yeah. a North Star. But I think you are the North Star when you're atheist. Yeah, you are your own you're, God. You're your only God. Yeah. But but that's but that's the problem with it because you could be your own God and so can Hitler. So who's to say which one ah, of you is yeah. the God above all? Yeah, because, which one's right or wrong? Because based off of kindness, based off being good, but what is based kindness? off being kindness is like treating people right and but, being nice to them. But why is that better than not being kind? The only reason you feel like it's better is because God said it was. Yep, there's no reason. Mm. I think I think from them perspective is as a human being, you should be nice to other people. Why? Or you should be kind to other people. Why? I don't know, Sean. Because 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 <laughs> what what, <laughs> I mean, Hit, what Hitler, Stalin, Mussolini, Napoleon, the movie just came yeah, out. Yeah. They would say no, just take it. Yeah. If you want something, go get it. Kill them. Well, that's that's my I mean, that's but, morally but, what they believe. But, but then there's been some people who could claim to be Christians that did the exact same thing yeah. with crusades, and we crusades would say, with, yeah. and we would say those people slavery. were wrong. Yeah. So I mean, I think at the end of the day, I think atheists come from a humanistic perspective, mm-hmm. Se- not secularism, but a humanism of humanistic of saying, "I can be good, I can be kind, I don't have to kill anybody, I'm not hurting anybody." Yeah. And yeah. I'm still a good person. That's what their perspective is. And the answer to that perspective is, what is a good person? Right. If you're, there's no God, there's no such thing. Yeah. You doing one I thing think and them... Okay. You're, what That's makes, where they're coming from. What makes, you, what makes your behavior right. good what makes or your bad? behavior, yeah, like morally. Because I'm not doing nothing to hurt the next so man. So that's, that's what they say. As okay. long as you don't do anything to hurt somebody else. But why is that bad? Why is me hurting him bad? Yeah. Why do you think it is? Because he doesn't want to be attacked. Well, but well, you technic- see what I'm saying? That's, a, that's an okay. opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an opinion. Because because technically, if we all at this table determine that killing somebody's okay. Because not everybody agrees with that. Right. Then we could just kill somebody and it'd be fine if we all agree it's okay. Well, I think based off our laws, that's why people Well, but the dis- laws were made because people know that it's wrong to do, even if you disagree. Yeah. yeah. Even if you think it's okay to do... I'm telling you, you are flat out we need wrong. wrong. Like murder is wrong. Like you can't. And the only reason you know that is because of God. Yeah. There's no, there's no other way around I agree. it. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I get that. I know that. But I'm yeah. thinking from your perspective, from their perspective, it's more like I can be a good person. That's why I keep doing quotation. I could be a good person without God. Yeah. The, the ultimate, the ultimate mm. argument of an atheist is there's no need for God. I, the ultimate goal of man is to, to keep our species alive and to not infringe on each other's rights. Yeah. And as long as we do that, then we're good. Yeah. But the answer to that huh. statement is, 
Why is that good? On the only reason you feel like that's good is because it was written yeah. in here. Or my truth is for me, and your truth is for you. Yeah, but as long as your truth doesn't conflict doesn't with my truth, on his and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, I don't think that's for them. But it's like, sometimes truths are diametrically opposed, and somebody has to be right and somebody has to yeah. be wrong. Right. The only reason you think Hitler was wrong is because even though he thought he was right. You still would say he is definitively not opinion. Yeah, no, he is he's definitively, definitively wrong. wrong. Yeah, is because you know deep down inside your heart that there is a lawgiver, whether you believe in him or not. Yeah, that is the whole point of a this. lawgiver. Yeah. Yes, no, lawgiver. I mean, yeah, that's he's what God not wrong. Is. Yeah, I've never heard I, that. I agree. He's the lawgiver. I just think <laughs> you've never heard of God that way. Back, back to the point. I think <laughs> if if atheists are getting married, I I don't know if there is really a point to that. Like it might just be for the the benefits, the tax benefits, yeah. and because you could just. But but, but but can you like, discount somebody loving a person but, without God? I think that's her point. Her point is <sighs> the only reason you find value in this thing is because God put that desire there right. in you against your will. Like yeah. you have no choice. That He made you that way. Yeah. And you can deny Him all you want. And this is the same point as my video. We're in agreement, me and Candace. Uh, well, you could you could deny him all you want, but you can't escape how he designed he made you. you. Yeah. yeah, that's why you care about it, and that's I think that's the point she's making. Yeah, but I I think I think to me personally, I'll say this because love is one of those emotions that people need from each other. In, in essence, would you say that? Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if I'm in love with my wife, and me and my wife are not believers. I don't think I don't think we shouldn't not get married. I love her. I, yeah, I don't I want, think she's saying don't get married as a. I think she's asking. She's saying the why point? do you care about it? Yeah, what's the point? Why would you care about this thing if not for the fact that God made you care? That's that's the point. I don't think she's saying stop getting married. She's just saying think about it. Think about it. Why yeah. do you care about this? Why do you care to get married? Yeah. Right. Why does this matter? Because I love to you? my I love my wife. The reason you, you do, just, yeah, is because of God. That's I think. And they will probably say, no. The reason I do is because I have feelings and emotions, and I love her. But they're or wrong. I love him. They're wrong about. Well, that. your feelings and emotions come <laughs> from God. Wrong about like that. the the things that you feel, <laughs> the things that are in you, come from Christ. So, but it's funny because you agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fight. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's on the same page. Everybody's on the same page. Completely. For anybody me. watching this, I am not an atheist. Right. right. No, we're not. We're not. I atheist. love Jesus. He's Praise trying. To, he's trying to reason through it. I'm as, trying to understand your right. What you were asking. Ah, yeah. You got yeah. But I, I think. I think for me being, uh, from a human perspective, in, instead of from a Christian perspective, yeah. but from a perspective of theirs, would be like as a human being, I love somebody, and I probably was yeah. raised. In a marriage, my parents were married. Yeah. This person was married. My family. Yeah. A bunch so of you've people seen are, it before. I've seen that before, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. and I liked it, so I want to get married. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, is what what we're saying is, we know that that's what you feel, and that's a valid point of view. We're just trying to reveal to you your source code. Right. Where You're programmed from. to feel that way. Yeah. By a creator who loves you. Yeah. That's the point. And you may not know that, agree with it, whatever. But that's the truth. Right. All right. Real quick, do you agree, Candace Owens, that atheists shouldn't get married? Um, forty-eight percent said yes, they shouldn't get married. Fifty-two percent said no, non-believers can get married. But again, that's not okay. the the point. Isn't should they or should they not? Yeah, it's why would they? That's that's because I don't want it to turn into like a you know we're trying to come at atheists or trying to belittle anybody. I think we're just calling into question like what's the reason? Like why would you do this? You yeah. don't you don't get the comments why? Oh please, <laughs> please come. I would love to. We, we love, love everyone. everyone. I, I seriously enjoy it because like I said in in I, I responded to somebody. I, I really learn a lot about the human uh, condition. Listening to people try to justify why there's no God. And there's this one guy I'm going back and forth. There's like a if you go look for it, it's like a twenty comment Dang, long thread, thread back yeah. and forth between me and him. And and it just gets down to the point of if you you ha- if you don't believe in God, that means you have to believe that matter created itself. That sounds ridiculous to me. You think God sounds ridiculous to you? That sounds ridiculous to me. That this all can come from nothing. Yeah. <laughs> without a creator. Or like an that accident. Makes, yeah. literally no sense and and the same way i feel about that is how he feels about me believing in god and it's like fine that's cool but let's I, talk about but it but i think i think for me when I, oh, I always hear that argument i'm like there's nothing in life that did not have somebody created yeah it makes no sense yeah, a, well, like, yeah i mean even man-made things like it was created 
it's it every but that's how the universe works everything is conservation of energy everything turns into something else you don't just get stuff out of nothing yeah so how do you explain where it all came from then so what if somebody say well then the universe where did it come from <laughs> you explain you to the me universe created from. something no i said just... god no your question is where did god come from oh god that's, that's, that's okay true. and that and then then I would love for you to get to that point. Then we're on the same page. Yeah. But until then, anyway, just 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 go into the other. <laughs> oh, yeah, you I'm, I'm on YouTube. The content or the yeah, comments. <laughs> I need I need some missionaries with me, guys. I'm in there by myself. <laughs> You're in the field with the track stars: Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.